In this video, I'm going to help you choose between the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra i9 and i7 version. Now, spoiler alert, I think you should go with the i9 version for the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. However, there is another i7 laptop that I think would be a better comparison choice if considering the i9 versus the i7. So hang tight, we're going to get right into it. First and foremost, you want to check out the pricing on the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. It's $23.99 for the i7 version. You see this price here, this is actually talking about a $600 instant trading credit. So the actual price is $23.99 for the i7 or $29.99 for the i9 version. Now the biggest difference that I think actually matters more than the processor is the amount of RAM that comes with these laptops. If you look at the i9 version, you get 32 gigs of RAM in one terabyte of storage. Whereas if you look at the i7 version, you get 16 gigs of RAM with no opportunity to upgrade. Now the issue that you run into, in my opinion, with this is the bottlenecking that takes place from the 16 gigs of RAM within the i7 version. Normally, this wouldn't be as much of a concern if you had a thicker laptop, like something like the Legion 5 Pro or the newer Lenovo Legion Pro 7i. Laptops like the Legion series have better cooling. So where a laptop might lack in RAM, say 16 gigs of RAM, it might start to see a bottleneck. It can make up for it with the processor having much more ceiling to not thermal throttle as much with either the processor or the GPU. When it comes to these thin and light laptops toting such big processors and big GPUs, you have to maximize every component to its nth degree. So 16 gigs of RAM starts to create a bottleneck in the system because the processor in the i7 version doesn't have enough ceiling due to some thermal throttling that they have to implore in order to make sure that the laptop stays cool. So where it will work in a Legion series, it doesn't quite cut it in the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra. Now, the reason I think the i9 is the better choice is because the performance results I'm seeing out of the i9 were the performance results I was expecting to see out of the i7. To wrap this full story, when I first got the laptop into my studio, I thought I had the i7. I thought Samsung sent over the i7, and so I went ahead and I ordered the i9. Come to find out that I got the i9, so now I'm sitting with two i9s in my studio, and I run the benchmarks. And I was like, wow, these benchmarks are really good when I first unboxed the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra, thinking it was the i7. Like, this thing performs really well. I'm very impressed. Come to find out when I ran Cinebench, I looked at the spec, and it said i9. And I thought, okay, this is the i9. Things change a little bit. Yes, it has great performance. Yes, I'm really impressed by it. It makes sense why it's performing this well for being such a thin and light laptop. It has an i9 processor and an RTX 4070 with 32 gigs of RAM. There was no strong opportunity for bottlenecking. I think the problem with the i7 version is you have a lot of bottlenecking potential with that 16 gigs of RAM. And you don't benefit from the i7 H series processor or the RTX 4050. Over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two-week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's 
quite frightening actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability between these two models right now as you're watching this video or you wanna make a purchase, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Now, if you do make a purchase, I will get a small commission but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. So always so grateful when you guys use those links. Now, the biggest reason that I think you should stick with the i9 for the Ultra is the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360. The reason I think you should be considering the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360 versus the Ultra i9 is because of the price difference and the efficiency. If you're going to go for the i7, you're going to get almost as good a performance out of a laptop with out a dedicated GPU because of the bottlenecking that might take place from the thermal throttling from the 4050 and the i7H series. The i7-1360P is able to run with more performance because it's a less hot CPU, meaning that I'm expecting you to be able to get just as much of performance out of the i7-1360P as you would out of the i7-13700H with the RTX 4050. We have efficiency over high performance being throttled. That is my big concern. Both come with 16 gigs of RAM, and so you're going to see much better use of that performance out of the i7-1360P in the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360. Now, the second reason I think you should be considering the Pro 360 over the Ultra with the i7 is efficiency of battery life. The battery life on the Ultra was good for the i9 version with the RTX 4070, but it wasn't great, especially when you look at it compared to the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360. If you're going to take a hit in performance, you might as well be rewarded with battery life. And that is my biggest argument for choosing the Book 3 Pro 360 over the i7 version of the Ultra. Now, if you're going to go for the Ultra, you might as well get it topped out with 32 gigs of RAM, an i9 processor, and an RTX 4070. I really think that if you get it with the i7, you're wasting your money because you can get the Galaxy Book 3 Pro 360 for $1899 versus the Galaxy Book 3 Ultra for $2399. And I really don't think you're going to see that big of a performance bump between the Pro 360 and the Ultra i7. The big performance jump is going to be between the Pro 360 and the Ultra i9. Match that with the added flexibility of it being a two-in-one laptop with a pen, and you have a winning opportunity here. Now, no matter if you go with the Ultra i7 or the Pro 360 i7, you're stuck with 16 gigs of RAM, which is why I think the ultimate comparison is the Pro 360 i7-1360p versus the Ultra i9 with the RTX 4070 and 32 gigs of RAM. Comment below and let me know what you think. I want to know if you think I'm spot on here or I'm bat crap crazy. And I want to know how you're feeling about it. Once again, links in the description below if you're ready to make a purchase. Likes of this video has brought you some value. And subs if you don't want to miss out on the future content. I'll see you here in the next one.